I'm here in solidarity with this demonstration because every year we've been here, we've warned them. We warned them if they continued in this carbon embrace, we would see the effects of climate change. And now we're seeing them. The ice is melting, we have extremes of climate and flooding in our own country. And we warned them also, if you privatise energy, they will form cartels and they'll rip us off. And we're experiencing all of that now, all of that now. And we hope with this energy bill, we would see at least some acknowledgement of their failures and that they would then address our main concerns about climate change and the need to develop renewable energy. And what have we seen this week? An energy bill that instead of placing the onus upon the private companies to pay for renewable energy development, is going to be placed upon ordinary people, most of whom are now struggling to pay their heating bills. And at the same time, the energy companies in their cartel are ripping us off on a daily basis. Yeah. We've seen car climate change targets virtually ignored in planning decision after every planning decision. And now in my own constituency, they're coming back again for a third runway and now possibly a fourth runway. Yeah. And this carbon embrace will go on for the next two generations at least if they get away with the introduction of fracking. So what's our, what's our response? We need to explain very clearly. What fracking means is undermining the very land upon which we walk. It's polluting our waters and it's creating emissions for a transport system still heavily dependent on carbon. With fracking, they'll, keep it, they'll commit us to a carbon economy for generations to come. So what's our response? Yes, in Parliament, we'll seek to oppose them. But let me be straight with you. There's very few MPs at the moment who will oppose this energy bill and oppose the development of fracking. So what we've got to say to individual MPs, if you frack our community, we'll sack you. Fracking yes. will mean sacking for individual MPs. Let's eyeball them constituency by constituency. So when the next election comes, we've got to make this a central issue. You've seen in the newspapers this morning the release from Greenpeace. They're looking at 60% of our land as possible targeting for fracking. That will undermine community after community. This has got to be a key political issue. <coughs> the next two years up until the general election. And let me just say this as well. I'm an MP. So I don't trust them in Parliament. I mix with them. I see them every day. I know the courtship that there is with big business and industry and the lobbying that goes on. So yes, let's make it a political issue in the next general election and then the run up to that. But the reality is that we're ready to defeat them as a community mobilized. And that means direct action again. That means climate camp reinvigorated. That means every time there's a planning application for fracking, we oppose it not as isolated communities, but as a whole community, a whole population, using whatever mechanisms we can in law, in politics, but also in direct action. We're mobilizing again. The responsibility is on all our shoulders, not to allow any individual community to be picked off by fracking, but for us stand together in solidarity with one another to save each community but also to save our planet. Solidarity. Yeah.